Hi, welcome back to our study videos. In this video, we're going to look at settlement hierarchy, high and low order goods, and the sphere of influence that different settlements have. Let's start with settlement hierarchy. And this is a ranking based on different settlement types, size, and importance or influence. At the bottom, we've got hamlets. And these are very small settlements scattered throughout rural areas, uh, likely to only have maybe one shop, uh, maybe um, a village, cafe or pub. The next one on the hierarchy is villages. These are slightly bigger, slightly higher population, likely to have a handful more services, perhaps a grocer's, a bakery, uh, maybe a post office and a pub again. Um, and they're, they're going to be more numerous than hamlets, uh, but not as numerous as towns. The next one up is towns. These are larger in size. You're probably talking up to about 100,000 people. Going to have a much wider range of services, likely to have perhaps supermarkets, um, perhaps a department store, bus stations, uh, perhaps a train station, schools, secondary schools, uh, libraries, cinemas, those sorts of things. Okay, So they're providing a much greater uh, range of goods and services. Then we move on to our cities. Smaller in number again, likely to be perhaps just a handful of these in, in smaller countries, but larger in population size, uh, going anywhere from perhaps half a million people up to some of the bigger cities of the world where you've got 10 plus million people, mega cities. Um, these are going to provide a much, much wider range of goods and services and services that you can't access in other places, perhaps international airports, universities, specialist medical facilities, luxury dealerships of things like cars, jewellery. At the top of the hierarchy we have capital cities. There's only one of these and these are generally the largest of the cities in the country. Not always the case. Some new cities in places like Brazil and Australia have their capital city which is smaller than perhaps the big commercial ones. But normally they're the biggest and have the widest range of services there often with government located there and perhaps your key financial uh, sectors, central banks. So when we're looking at the settlement hierarchy, it's important to keep in mind that as we go up it, the, the number of settlements decreases, but their size in terms of population increases. Their importance increases and the number and range of goods and services that they offer also increases and you're likely to get higher order goods the higher up the hierarchy you go and because of that the bigger settlements are going to have a larger sphere of influence thanks for watching and check out our website for loads more resources